Hi everybody, hope you enjoyed the first two activities. We've got some really good material to start working with now. You've got lots and lots of winter words and images in your imagination. And you've also started thinking about how someone might feel if they were going to the island, what kind of emotions they'd be going through. It's fantastic, you've got lots to work with. So the next bit that I like to do when I'm writing a story, and I always do this, it doesn't matter where my story is set, is I like to make a map of where the story takes place. So for Ellen's Island, because it takes place on an actual island, I have an island map. Um, and I'm gonna ask you to do one of these now. Uh, so think about what your wintry island might be like. What kind of exciting places might be there? Don't forget, the more exciting your places are, the more interesting your places are, the better they'll be to write a story around them. Um, a good tip for making a map is you might want to have a look at an actual map to see what kind of landmarks they pick out. So um, on mine I've got a forest, you often see those on maps. I've got a lighthouse, some caves, some rocks. I've also included some of the wildlife that's around, um, puffins and seals and sharks. I don't think they'd have sharks there really but they look good. And I've used some of my uh, interesting words to name some of the places so like Strumble Sands and The Lanterns is the house that she goes to stay in. So you might want to use some of your wintry words to make up names for your places. So have a think, what's going to be interesting for your story? Places that are interesting, you might want some light ones and some dark ones or some good places and some scary places and have a think about interesting names for them as well. Really create your island with your imagination. Don't worry about the quality of your drawing, my drawing is absolutely terrible. Just get it down so that you can see what's on your island. Good luck, I hope you enjoy it, bye!